Hello, I am Cutnut and I invented the Ideal Scope and the Asset Scope way back in the 80s. Okay, so you've received some of this stuff, um, these little gadgets, Ideal Scopes and Asset Scopes. The very first Ideal Scope from the 1980s and from about 1987 or 88, the very first Asset Scope. <clears throat> so, here we are. You've got this thing for looking at diamonds with. You'll have to take the little pieces of protective coating off that stops it getting scratched and <clears throat> on your phone or another phone or a friend's phone you need to uh, download this um, thing that we've described on the website turns your YouTube into a white page so you've now got a white background you put your diamond that you're looking at and anything else that you want to compare to it into the tray and off you go, you're looking through the ideal scope and you can see whether this is a good stone or not. You take your camera and you set it on macro, if you've got a macro, it doesn't matter if you haven't, and zoom in. And as you zoom in, you'll find that you can get a pretty good photo. Click your photo, Bob's your uncle. Now, if you have trouble focusing, one of the tricks that you can do is you take some of this, we call it blue tack in Australia, it's got some other name in America, especially for the asset because the little hole that you have to focus through is really, really small. And you can stick it onto your camera lens like that. And then you've got the hole in the right place. You can look through here and line it up. See, it's all lined up. And then you can pop it over the top of your stone and um, off you go. Here we're going to click, take a nice photo. Um, so you can identify whether the cut of the stone is good or bad. Use the ideal scope for round stones. Use the asset scope for fancy shaped stones. You can of course use this for anything, but it's kind of a bit harder, a bit more complicated to use. Okay. If you like this stuff, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube, etc. And ask questions and make some comments and I'll try and answer them if I can. And wow, fantastic you got this far.